Hello and welcome to Pro Video Instruments. We're going to be going over today PVI's new line of view matrix uh, extenders, the revolutionary solution to distribute HDMI video throughout your whole house. We're going to be going over quite a few different items and we'll go, we're going to start over here with our 1080 full HD line of products. And there we have three different units. We're able to distribute throughout your house over the existing network, whether it's the coax or the LAN uh, Cat5, Cat6 cabling that you have in your house already. Very simply put, we're going to be able to take every HDMI source, every video source you have, and be able to set it out to your TV without extra wiring, any clutter, or any type of extra work for you. What you'll be able to do is take all of those sources, put them into your media closet, and then from there distribute them to your TVs in your room, and when you're in the room, it'll be aesthetically pleasing because all you will see is the TV as each one of the receivers will be mounted behind the TV. Each uh, type of situation, we start with both a transmitter for every source you have, whether it be a Blu-ray player, uh, Apple TV, gaming system, or anything alike to that like. And then you will have a receiver for each TV that you have. Let's start over here with our 1080p pro, uh, versions. We're going to start with the coax. This is our view matrix system. Uh, view matrix coax system, we have both transmitters and receivers. As you can see on the front, it's very, uh, very aesthetically pleasing. You've got a digital display that's going to show you uh, what number of transmitter it is that you have or what number of transmitter the receiver is pointing to. Very simply, to wire this, anybody can do it themselves. On the back, you will see you have both an HDMI and a coax. On the transmitters, what you will do is you will take the HDMI from the source and you'll plug it in. You'll take the coax out right into the existing coax that's already in your house, able to go out and right alongside all of your TV programming that you could have already. And then at the TV itself, you will be coming out of the coax into the HDMI and out of the HDMI into the TV. Very simply, that is all the type of wiring that you need to do. It's already there for you. When you're done doing that, back on the front, you will take the transmitter and you will number it 1 through 99. You have a total of 99 transmitter capabilities, 99 sources in this instance. On the TV receiver, you have the capability with the remote control, another revolutionary ID, idea, as well as buttons on the front to be able to decide what source it is that you want to see. So simply put, in your closet, you will have all of your sources, your Apple TV, your Blu-ray player, your computer, whatever it is that you want, your direct TV box, they will be numbered 1 through 99. You, on your TV, you decide which one you want, very simply by pushing the number on the remote or by pushing the numbers on the front of the, of the unit. That was our coax line. Once again, now we'll go over, we have, besides for coax, a lot of people have started to go with the new age of uh, computers and they have a complete computer network in their house now. That is what our View Matrix IP line is for. We have both a LE version, very standard, basic version, and then we have a Pro version. The Pro version will be a little bit higher up than the LE. Let's start with the LE. We're going to go with the same type of situation that we had with the coax. On the LE, you get up to 16 sources. Very basic, very simple uh, put. And then you have, once again, unlimited number of receivers, unlimited number of TVs within your house. What you're going to do with this is very simply, just like as in with the coax, you're going to take your HDMI sources and you're going to plug them in. And then you're going to take the uh, <coughs> RJ45, the Cat5, Cat6 cable right out of the back of this unit and plug it into your existing switch that you are using to uh, feed your whole network in your house as it is. Then at the TV, what you're going to do is you're going to come out of that uh, port that's in the wall, that uh, cable port, excuse me, that network port in the wall, and you're going to come into the unit right here, and then you're going to come out of the unit HDMI to the TV. So very simply, just as with the coax, simple wiring, HDMI in, RJ45 laying out to your switch, out of the wall into the unit, HDMI out of the unit to the TV. Once again, you go back on the front just to show you on the front. You'll be, you have a very easy digital display to be able to tell you what number that transmitter is. On the TV end, you will decide 
whether it's by pushing the buttons or once again with the remote control, what source you want to watch. If you want to watch your Blu-ray source and your Blu-ray source is number one, you push the number one on the remote and you are done. <clears throat> Very simple. Once again, able to revolutionize the way you are doing your video distribution throughout your house. No cabling except for what's already there. Now we go over to the Pro version. On the Pro version, we have a few extra items that the LE version does not come with. First of all, as in with the coax, we have up to 99 sources. So if you have more than 16 sources you want in your house, you have the capability of handling that with the Pro. The Pro also has, besides for the remote control, you will also have IR control. We have the IR um, <coughs> relays to be able to put in front of the TV and go back and control the source. So, and what that means, just like what we had with the uh, with the uh, LE version, you're going to have your TV set up to where it's going to be watching the Blu-ray player. If you have your Blu-ray remote, you'll be able to hit the uh, IR with that. It'll go back through our system, hit the IR, and hit play on the Blu-ray and start playing it. So you can play the Blu-ray that's in your media closet from your living room where you're wanting to watch it. Once again, <clears throat> you will have that capability. You see on the front of this, you have uh, two different uh, displays. On the Pro version, each unit has its own numbering as well as the numbering of what source you're wanting to watch. That is because on the Pro version, besides for the remote control capability, we also have full computer integrated control capability. Our Pro units come with our own software, proprietary, that can control our units where you can sit on your uh, computer such as your Microsoft Surface and decide which units are going to cover each item. From there, what we're going to uh, give you the capability is also to control this via your own con house uh, automated control systems, whatever you might have uh, controlling other s situations in your house, whether it be your TVs or cameras or anything along that lines. That there is our full line of 1080p uh, distribution, full HD. Now let's go over to our 4K. Most everybody knows about 4K today. Uh, if you've seen any type of uh, commercials, you've seen that everybody is going to 4K for their TVs. Well, once again, we said earlier how PVI is revolutionizing video distribution. Well, if your video is 4K, then you need the revolutionary 4K video distribution. These are going to be our ViewMatrix 4Ks. I'm going to start with the LE. The LE version is going to be very similar to the LE 1080p in the fact that you're going to have up to 16 sources. You're able to switch set the sources by the switches on the front right here and then you'll be able to uh, put that back out over the uh, over the network the same as with the uh, view matrix uh, IP version where you are going to be having your Ethernet port on the back excuse me here uh, to be able to plug into the port in the wall or into the switch now the other thing that's beautiful about this particular unit as you can see over here, we also have the uh, USB capabilities. What this does is it gives you the capability of putting in a USB dongle in your, in your TV room that's able to control through the USB back to the source. So if you've got a gaming system or a computer and you want to be able to control that with a keyboard, a mouse, a joystick, you will be able to plug the USBs of those keyboards, jet mouse, joystick into the receiver. It'll go back to the source and be able to plug program it and control it there. <clears throat> now, if you have more than 16 sources, once again, on our 4K, we have the Pro version. The Pro version, as in with the uh, 1080p Full HD versions, the 4K Pro gives you up to 99 sources. The other thing that this is going to give you as well is it's going to give you the capability of having four USB capabilities and controls. So in this instance here, if you want to do play with your gaming system and you've got four controllers for your Xbox, you can control all four of them straight through this unit and be able to go back to the source. The other thing that's beautiful is you can see here we also have the uh, mic and uh, external audio.